Bill Gilbert is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $9,000. Today on Scrabble. A seven-letter word. The clue is sometimes they can't avoid Chapter 11. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by Jill Gottfried uh, from, where is that? Setauket, New York? Well, I'm going to think I'm real stupid because I don't know where Setauket is. But anyway, we've got a t-shirt going to Setauket. And uh, today the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $9,000. Winner will get a chance at that later on the show. Right now we're going to meet our first two players, and Charlie's got them. She's a travel consultant. He's our champion. Originally from Kansas City, Kansas, Tricia Holmes. And originally from Glenview, Illinois, Phil Gilbert. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Tricia? I'm fine, Chuck. How are you? Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a travel consultant for a major international airline carrier, and I plan trips for people throughout Southeast Asia. Oh, nice. Well, it's nice to have you. Have you ever been to Southeast Asia? No, not yet. Now, how are you going to plan a trip if you've never been there? Computers. Computers? <laughs> I <use> computer. <laughs> Just send a computer over there, and they come back and say, it was real good, Trisha. <laughs> Well, you got to go. you got to get your ticket and go. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Nice to have you here. Good luck to you. Hi, Phil. Hi, Chuck. Welcome back. Phil has $1,500. He's a handyman from... Uh, where are you from, Phil? Uh, originally from Glenview in Illinois. Oh, great. Well, tell us more about yourself. Um, well, I am the... Or actually, I'm one of the very few people in Los Angeles to be certified to catch a boomerang with his feet. Well, it's amazing enough that you can do that, but it's even more amazing that someone in the world would certify that. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> it is really the way it is. I guess there's no way to explain how you do it, is there? Well, no, there, there is a trick to it. Um, when you throw the boomerang, of course, it's theoretically supposed to come back. And if it does do that, supposedly, if you've thrown it right, then you quickly flip up to your hands and catch it with your feet. <laughs> Aren't you glad you waited? I am. We're going to play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Have a chance to bonus sprint worth $9,000. Take a look at the board. Trish is the challenger. She's going to go first. And we're building on the letter E, nine, eight letters in the word. The clue is a lot of women think their husbands is too small. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus. I'm going to roll right over this one. I'm not even going to get into it. Pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money and stuff like that. Okay, Chuck, I'll take the 10 and the 9. K and a C. How about that K? A lot of women think their husbands is just too small. Uh, I think I know it, but I think I'll go for some money. The C? Okay, let's take two more tiles. The 8 and the 7. Okay, let's try the Y. A lot of women think their husbands is just too small. Well, I know that ends a stopper, so paycheck. Yes, paycheck. <laughs> of course it's Jan. I know it. He's over there pointing at him. I know it's Jan. Only Jan would think about that. Building on the letter H in paycheck, Phil. Six letters in the word. The clue is it keeps England's Queen Elizabeth in her place. Ah, it keeps England's <laughs> Queen Elizabeth in her place. Oh, this is good. I like this. Yeah. Right. I got it. <laughs> All finally. right. Uh, one and three. C to an O. Uh, the O? It's worth $500, Phil. It keeps England's Queen Elizabeth in her place. It keeps England's Queen Elizabeth in her place. The place to see. It's worth $500, the last chance at money. Is it anchor? Yeah, that's right. That's good, huh? See, they always pull one like that first one, then they redeem themselves. That was a real good puzzle, wasn't it? It was sweet. It was Debbie. <laughs> of course, Debbie would come up with something like that. That's good. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Okay, Tricia, building on the letter A in anchor, eight letters in the word. The clue is there's a price on their heads. 
there's a price on the heads, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll take a 10 and a 5. B and a G. Let's try the B. Thousand dollars, Tricia. There's a price on their heads. Want to take a guess? No, I can't see it, so let's place the G. Hmm. No, I don't think so. So the nine and seven. B and a C. Okay. Let's try the C. There's a price on their heads. Okay, uh, I know it, and there's no more money, so cabbage. Yes, cabbage. Singular or plural? Thank you. Singular or plural? Okay, Phil, building on the letter A in cabbages, six letters in this word. The clue is, it has its upside and its downside. It has its upside and its downside. Okay, how about the three and the five? E or an R? Uh, the E. It has its upside and its downside. The R? Stop, Patricia. Okay, let's try an eight and a four. B or an S? Uh, let's try the S, please. $500 in the game. It has its upside and its downside. Seesaw. That's exactly right, yes. Boy. You got a good one. She's tough. She's tough. And here you were just hammering away. You were hoping. What was that one that you were looking at? Cabbages. cabbages. Yeah. Boy, he it, was looking. Mean. He had that one real early. He was really looking for that one. <laughs> well, look, Phil, you got $2,000 and our thanks. Thank good you. Good player. I wish you could have lasted longer. But then again, Chris is an awful good player, too. And you got a $500 coming. One, two, three, four, five hundred. That's a thousand. She'll be back to play travel Sprint right after this. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That goes quick. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Lorre. Trisha Holmes has $1,000, and uh, she's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to try to beat that time. I remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay? Okay. okay. Good luck, Trisha. Thank you. The first word has five letters. They can take a pounding. They can take a pounding. Ready? Ready. Go. D. R. They can take a pounding. O. Doors. Yes. The second word has seven letters. He's very goal-oriented. He's very goal-oriented. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. okay. Go. Z. Gretzky. Very nicely done, yes. The third word has eight letters. Part of the in crowd. Part of the in crowd. Ready? Okay. Go. T. T. M. Part of the in crowd. R. O. Marriott. That's correct. The last word has nine letters. Silencers. Silencers. Ready? Okay. Go. F. C. P. Pacify. Oh, that's a very good time. That's real good. You have to beat that. You have to beat that. Uh, Trisha Holmes, $1,000. She's got a time of 20.2 seconds. We'll be back to test that right after this. Congratulations. That's a real amount. Nice. Yeah. You got Gretzky with no <laughs> Okay. Uh, Trisha Holmes is our champion, and we have two new contestants, and Charlie's got them right now. Charlie? She's an English student. He's a happy camper. From Rolling Hills, California, Holly Stotts. And originally from Daggett, California, Chris Capen. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Holly? Hi, thank you. Glad Rolling you Hills is up in Palos Verdes, isn't it? Yeah. And that's real pretty there. I mean, it's, it's the one beautiful. with all the estates and mm -hmm. the horses and... Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I grew up, up on there. horses. Yeah. Tell us about yourself, now that we well, know where you live. Well, <laughs> I'm an English student at Loyola Marymount University. Mm -hmm. I am studying to be a teacher, and I plan on teaching the fifth grade. Oh, good. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you here. Daggett, California. Daggett. I mean, does that sound important or what? Where are you from? Daggett. Daggett. Well, that'd be a great name for a series for an inspector. What's his name? 
dag it. <laughs> they don't mess with you yeah. when you're from Tell Daggett. Us, yeah. <laughs> I'm a native Southern California, born out in the Mojave Desert. And in Daggett. I, in Daggett. Yeah. In them thar hills. And I'm a graduate of the University of Southern California. Go Trojans. And uh, I love to camp and fish up in the high Sierras, on the eastern Sierras. Great. I like to do that, too. It's good to have you aboard. Who, who won the toss backstage? I did. Let's go to the board. Building on the letter T, eight letters in the word. And the clue is some people enjoy the Indian summer there. All right. Some people enjoy the Indian summer there. Let's start with the one and the four. T and an S. Let's go with the T. Some people enjoy the Indian summer there. That sounds nice. And the S? No, that doesn't sound so nice. Okay, Holly. Okay, I have no idea, so I'll take the 10 and the 9. A and a U. Place the A, please. It's worth $500. Some people enjoy the Indian summer there. Don't know it. Place the U, bad. please. Okay, need two more tiles. Eight and the five. Another T and a V. Place the T, please. Nope. Chris? Well, let's see what we've got here. The two? Only one, because you have the that's, C or the V to choose that's from. That's right. Uh, the C, please. Some people enjoy the Indian summer there. Isn't that nice? I'm not enjoying it right now. Uh, the V. <laughs> Holly, you know what it is? I think so. It's all three stoppers. Do you want to guess or do you want to play speed word? I want to guess. Calcutta? That's right. It's Calcutta. <laughs> Okie dokie. Chris, back to the board, building on the letter T in Calcutta. Six letters in the word. The clue is he lost everything in a hostile takeover. He lost everything in a hostile takeover. Okay, the one and the eight. U and a G. Uh, G, please. <laughs> Holly? Okay, I'll take the seven. U and an E. Place the E, please. He lost everything in a hostile takeover. $500. I haven't a clue. Okay. Uh, Better use that U before oh, you throw anything, that just U. in Sorry. case it doesn't work. <laughs> Not, but it did. Okay, uh, two more tiles. Six and five. S and a C. The C, please. He lost everything in a hostile takeover. And the S? It's worth $500. He lost everything in a hostile oh. takeover. Chris, you want to go for 500? Yeah, I sure do. Custer. Custer, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I, oh, you I had it, too. Oh, you had all that time. Oh. One, two, two three, four. four. 500. There you go. You'll have to excuse me for just a moment. You see, I've dropped everything that I own on the floor. <laughs> I'll get this, though. Just carry on without me. And don't worry. I'll be right back. That's the first time I've ever dropped every one. They're all out of order. I don't know what's what. See, we're, oh, we're building on the letter C and Custer. Oh, good. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll never find the next one. Seven letters. Uh, the clue is it can give you a much needed lift in the morning. Uh, Holly, can give you a much needed lift in the morning. Okay, I'll take the nine and the eight. B or an R? The R, please. Chris, it can give you a much needed lift in the morning. All right, let's see what the three says here. B or an A. Uh, try the B, Chuck. Thousand dollars. It can give you a much needed lift in the morning. Thousand dollars, Chris. Mm, of Come course. on, Chris. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Custer helped me out. Well, I don't know it. I'm okay. sorry. Try the A. <laughs> Nothing there. Okay, the four. And the five. M or an X. Oh, geez, I see it. Wouldn't you know it? I'll take uh let's take the X just for the fun of it. Yeah. Uh, taxi cab. That's right. Too bad you couldn't get it on that beat. Okay, Holly, got to jump back in here now. Building on the letter T in taxi cab, six letters in the word. The clue is some, some of them get potted on New Year's Eve. It's 
It's worth $1,000 if you can tell me what it is. You want to take a guess? Some of them get potted on New Year's Eve. I have a guess. Well, it's worth $1,000 maybe. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Plants? That's right. <laughs> now, is that incredible? I mean, you ever call some of your friends and say, what are you doing New Year's Eve? I'm, I'm potting, potting plants. plants. I mean, <laughs> please. Chances are that may not happen. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. <laughs> well, we're just a little bit out of rhythm here, but we'll get back in. Okay. All right. Bell means that we're out of time. Going to play the rest in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's all tied up anybody's game. Good luck to both of you. Building on the letter L in plants. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is it can make your hair stand on end. Ready? Go. It can make your hair stand on end. Chris. Cowlick. That's right. Good. Good. He got that one real quick. Thanks, Holly. Thank you. You with a thousand dollars. You did pretty well. I'm glad you took that chance. Good for you, kiddo. And Chris got a thousand dollars as well. He's going to play Scrabble Sprint and try to make a little bit more money. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. See you in just a minute. We'll be right back. Well, I, you, you missed something happening. Some of today's participants will receive the Yoshika Samurai double 35mm autofocus camera. Zooms from wide angle to telephoto as auto-loading flash wind and rewind delivers twice as many photos. Furnished by Yoshika Samurai. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charlie. I'm looking at the monitor here. I look like, I look like I'm in a hole here with both you guys. I'm, I'm six, two and a half. What happened? How tall are you? Six, three. Well, there you go. And just give up that little half inch. <laughs> Tricia Holmes has $1,000 and uh, 20.2. That's the time. Chris, uh, is it Capen or Capen? Capen. Capen. Chris has uh, $1,000. Going for 1000 then try for nine, maybe. See what happens. We'll see. Hey, Chris, first word, five letters. They can take a pounding. They can take a pounding. Ready? Ready. Go. D. R. Doors. Yes. Second word, seven letters. He's very goal-oriented. He's very goal-oriented. Ready? Ready. Go. Z. G. R. He's very goal-oriented. K. T. Gretzky. Yes. Third word, eight letters. I'm not a hockey fan. No, nothing. No. Part of the N crowd. Part of the N crowd? That's correct. Ready? Part of the N crowd. Yes. Ready? Ready. Go. T. M. T. Part of the N crowd. R. A. Ah, that's it. it was Marriott. That's what we were looking for. Marriott was called N. Mm, I did it. Sorry about that, Chris. Well, a thousand dollars. Hey, that's and uh, that's not too shabby. No, thank you for playing the game. Enjoyed having you, Chris. And Chris, you've done it, kiddo. You got two thousand dollars. You'll be coming back and try for nine thousand. Right after this, we'll be right back. Stay here. If you live in Los Angeles or you're planning to visit the L.A. area and you would like to become a contestant on Scrabble, call area code 213-284-8644. And now, back to Chuck Woolery and today's winner. All right, thank you, Chuck. I did it again. I'm going to nickname you Chuck before it's over with. I mean, when we get off the air, everybody's going to say, oh, Chuck Tuna. It doesn't work, does it? <laughs> mm. Two words under 10 seconds, Trisha. I'd love to see you make $9,000 right now. So and I'm going to help you every way that I can within the law. Okay. I never do anything illegal. Ooh, you can do this one. Yes. Okay. First word, six letters. Crude people. Crude people. Ready? Ready. Go. Oh, miners. Oh, no. Now, wait a minute. Don't, don't get it. Crude. Crude. I'm going to buy some crude next week. 
Oil. Oil, man. Oil. Yeah. 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 Okay. It was, I guess it's, you know, when you, when you see the answer, it's different. It looked real obvious to me, and I thought you'd get it. But I guess, you know, sometimes you're on the wavelengths and things. Yeah. But crude, anyway, that's what we were looking for. I'm not going to tell you the second one because we'll probably use it again. <laughs> Trisha Holmes has $2,000. The bonus goes up to $10,000. And the way she's playing, she'll probably have a shot at it again tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down. <laughs> Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Hey, Wyatt, you just got your weirdness in my science. Oh, yeah? Well, you just got your science in my weirdness. Mmm, delicious. A taste this great has to be weird science. Don't miss an all-new weird science, Saturday night at 10 on USA. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production.